Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have another unboxing for you today. This is Diamond Art Club. This is a unicorn of mine, okay? When it came out, it sold out really fast a few months ago, and then it sold out again, and then they had another restock. I don't know if I got it on the third. I don't remember. Um, and it's Whispers of the Spirit Woods. <laughs> And it is by Claudia McKinney. This was originally called, I think, Native Princess. I don't know exactly why they changed it. I, I think I heard something about Native Americans didn't have princesses. They didn't have royalty or something like that. So they changed the name. I think that's what I heard. So, But don't hold me to that because I'm not 100% sure. Either way, they changed the name. Um, you can still look it under, if you do a Google search, you can still look it under Native Princess because that's how I was finding it because I couldn't remember Whispers of the Spirit Woods. It was, I just couldn't remember that. Anyway, so this is a 38.6 by 27.6 inch or 98 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And, um, I'm dying to see it because I have not seen it yet and I've had it home for quite a while now. I wanted to do an unboxing and then I did other things and you know, you know how it goes. Life gets in the way. Let's see. <clears throat> I always pack these things pretty tight. Oh, actually that one came out nice. Okay, I'm not going to complain then. <laughs> Unless I can't get the painting out because sometimes it's so in there, so tight. Honestly, I'm glad they're changing the box and making it bigger because these boxes, sometimes it's really hard to get the thing back in because they I'm having a heck of a time they pack it in so tight with all the drills I mean honestly it's kind of ridiculous why not just put the drills in like two packets instead of one probably be easier but I am having a really hard time with this one usually it's because of the tray kit you know the tool kit but okay here we go wow <laughs> that's I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this back in my goodness Holy cow, all right. <sighs> all right, so if you struggle with that, know that it's not just you, all right? And this is the picture, but I'll show you a better picture, like the bigger one up close. Um, so you have that sticker you can stick at the bottom of the box. I don't do that. If I wanna go look for something, I just go look for it. Eventually I come across it. And we have a toolkit. Let's see, we still have a cover minder in this, so let's see what I got. I'm hoping it's something that I don't have, <laughs> which would be nice, but we'll see. Okay. I'm looking for those elusive pink tweezers. Honestly, I don't really care. I just find it funny. It would be funny if I found one. I, I think I have an older uh, kit that may actually have it in there. Okay, so let's see. Pull everything out of here. Everything, everything. Okay. So... We have, oh, it's a rose, which is good because I, I I do have a few of them, but I love the roses. So I'm happy with that. Wow, that was, look at that. <laughs> That's the magnet. It's on. It's underneath. Look at that. It's holding that pretty good. Look, That's wild. Okay. I didn't realize they were that strong. All right. So you get your tweezers. Keep this on, please, because they're very pokey. You have your pen with your cushy you have a multi-placer this is a four that's a seven you have your uh, wax two pats of wax always take off the film to get at the wax I'm not a huge fan of these because these like come off so easily I do like dreamer designs they're they're are better because you screw them on they stay tight and I honestly think it doesn't dry out the um wax as much not that I use wax because I don't um, we have your, uh, baggies, which I always use pretty washy, which I have, I guess they're getting rid of the washi tape too. Um, I do use the washi tape, but I have a whole bunch anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It'll, it'll last me a lifetime probably. And then we have the pretty little rose, which I love. It's really pretty. Now I don't take these out of the kits. I, when I put the kits back, I leave everything except the tray because I'm still working on getting all my trays for my tower, these particular trays, because to me it's a treat to open back up when I'm going to do one and grab that 
because I don't use them as cover minders. I just put them on um, my lamp. I have a metal lamp, and I just stick them in there. It's still just my collection. And, of course, you have your tray with your stopper, and I really like these trays. They have new trays. I have not got any of the new kits. Even today, today is Saturday. They're supposed to be having um, another, what do they call that, um... They always do new releases on Saturday is what it is, new release. And I, there's nothing. I, the last few weeks, there hasn't been even one thing that I'm like, oh, I really have to have it. I don't know why. It just hasn't. So Dreamer Designs has had a few that I really love. Um, but, of course, they have that issue with their gapping. So it's kind of like, yeah. Um, I do love their art, though. And the drills are nice. It gaps a little bit, but it's okay. When you stand away from it, you really can't see it. So... You just got to take the good with the bad. All right. Let's see what she looks like. I am going to pan out. And let's see. This is so beautiful. I love this painting so much. The second I saw it, I loved it, but I wasn't lucky enough to get it. It just sold out super fast. And I'm lucky it came back in stock because some of them sell out and they never come back in stock, which I wish they wouldn't do that, to be honest with you. Why don't they just make enough? They know the people who voted for them, so they have an idea about how many they should make. Make, I don't know, 100 more extra. Wouldn't that be an issue better? I know with, with Diamond Art Club, they have this setup where it's the FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. They do that, I think, on purpose. I'm sorry, but I know some people have absolutely love Diamond Art Club, which I do too. I love their artwork. Their business model to me is a little bit, um, it's a little predatory, you know, because they know people are going to try to get things. In. And unfortunately, you wind up in the stash groups with people are charging three times as much for something. Like Esmeralda, the one that I have. I could probably sell that for $350 right now if I really wanted to, which I don't want to. But I'm just saying, they 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 create this culture, and I'm not a huge fan of it. And I know there's some stuff going on with, with Hannah Lynn that's just not cool, you know. Um, and I hope it gets resolved because I love Hannah Lynn. I love her artwork. I just ordered some a while back from a different um, company. And I mean... I don't know. I'm just really torn right now. I'm really torn with the whole Diamond Art Club thing because I really do love their stuff. And I really do think, honestly, they are top of the line. But I just, I think they, they do some things just to um, get you to buy buy it. And then you wind up with these things in D-Stash groups where people get them. And then they're like, oh, I don't know if I really want it. Because returning it, I think, I've never returned anything. And I don't think a lot of people do, but I'm thinking it's going to be a hassle to return. You know, probably pay shipping or whatever, and people don't want to do that. All right, so that's my little diatribe today. Let's look at this painting. <laughs> uh, I don't even know why I started that, but okay. It is it is what it is. So she is upside down. Wow, this feels super stiff. That's weird. They're not usually like this. Okay, well, that's different. Okay, I might whack the camera because I'm literally right in front of it. Or it's in front of me, I should say. Look at this, though. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. I do love their renderings. Their renderings are amazing. I really do. And don't come for me, Diamond Art Club. I love your stuff. Don't come for me, okay? I just sometimes feel like some of the stuff is just getting a little bit um, uh, not user-friendly, I guess. Or, like, not consumer-friendly, in my opinion. Oh, wow. Look at this. Uh, this is gorgeous. Oh, my God. So beautiful. So beautiful. Oh. Wow. I have seen her done, and she is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so glad and grateful I was able to get her. Um, this is 71 colors you have. Uh... Four ABs, it looks like. Maybe even, might even be five. Five ABs. I think it is it under 150. Yeah, I think it's under 150. So it's maybe just four ABs. I can't remember it now. And three fairy dust. And she and he are gorgeous. I 
absolutely love this piece absolutely love this piece and this is huge 98 by 70 it's enormous but i don't care <laughs> i'm definitely gonna do this one 100 percent. oh my god it's so beautiful oh wow i mean you got a good amount of color blocking this is all color blocking here you do have some confetti but it's a lot of line confetti that i call it you know a lot of the same color like this here is all the same color Wow. Wow, I am in love with this. Let me bring her up closer and then I'll we'll look at the drills real quick. But wow, okay, I am going to pan in here and probably have to turn this on only because just to look at the drills because I don't have the light on right now and that's why I'm minimizing the glare. I think this is working out well with the light on the other side of the kitchen. So... That is our drill field. So you have diamonds and hearts that are similar in color and similar in shape. But I think you'll be able to tell. And you know what? If you put one color down wrong, it isn't the end of the world. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's see. You know what? I know what I'm doing wrong. It needs to be up closer. There we go. This canvas feels thicker than the others. That's weird. So let's see. I would love to bring her face up closer. I mean, I think I probably can. It's just tricky because it's so large. That these, the large canvases are really hard to manage. Maybe if I do it sideways. If I do it sideways, I can bring her up closer. You can see all the different colors. I mean, there's a good amount of color blocking here as well. Same thing with the uh, wolf. It's a lot of color blocking, like in this general area. Oh, God, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. And, of course, it has a flocked uh, canvas. Oops, just grabbed it. Just whacked it with the, the uh, canvas. It's uh, got a flocked canvas in the back. It's that very soft, soft material, which drives me crazy because it picks up every little speck of dust. Actually, it's picking up stuff from it. Like, these things here, they leave, like, these little specks sometimes. And it literally will, you'll find it on the back. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, that's me. I just have an issue with that. But she is so gorgeous. The wolf is amazing. I mean, look at them. Look at them. Wow. I love them so much. So much. You know? And as I was talking about Diamond Art Club, I... I don't get paid. I don't get. I don't get any anything for doing any of this. I am not one of their influencers. Nothing. So everything I'm telling you, as I'm saying, is my own opinion. You know. So don't don't buy. Don't not buy from them because of what I say. I am buying from them, and I will continue to buy from them unless they block me. Because occasionally they'll do that with some people. I haven't said anything that I don't believe is not true, and I think that. Um, in this community, the diamond art community, there's definitely a culture of get it before it it you, you can't get it anymore. And unfortunately, some of us who do that, and I'm guilty of it too, you wind up with these huge collections. And like, honestly, I'm hoping to live long enough to do them all. <laughs> um, but, you know, maybe my taste will change and stuff like that. And that's why it's good to have the D-Stash groups, but they also have to be reasonable with prices. Um, but I do know that Diamond Art Club does take offense to people sometimes saying stuff, even in their groups. And they have blocked, I know some people, they've blocked, they've taken away their points. Uh, um, they've, um, what's the thing that they've done? They've uh, deleted their accounts where they can't even buy anymore. Some people, I read something somewhere where somebody try to buy to the same address under a different name and they cancel the order. You don't do that. You don't do that. I don't care who you are as a business. I don't care who you are. But customer service is, customer service is number one. And if you piss off enough people, no matter how good your stuff is, there's other people out there who are just as good. Okay, I haven't, I haven't bought from all the companies. And even though I think that they are the top of the line right now, I might find another one that's even more top of the line. Don't do that. 
you know, because you're, you're, you're only hurting yourself in the end. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have, well, there's two sheets with the sticker. Look at that. Look how beautiful she is. Look how gorgeous. Let's see if I turn that off if it's better. Oh, that's too dark, huh? But I think you can see it a little bit better. Maybe not. Yeah, let me see. Um, and it's got glare. That's what I'm trying to minimize. Either way, it, you can still see what it is. And then we have two sheets of stickers. I know they changed the whole sticker setup, which I think is good because it's. I think it's all going to be like on one sheet, and I kind of like that idea better, you know. But I make copies of that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's look at our drills. Wow. Look at these amazing colors. Holy smokes, these are gorgeous. Wow. Absolutely beautiful colors. And that's one of the reasons I love this too. The colors are stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm so glad I got this piece. You know, I'm so glad I got this piece. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can find those. I don't want to take it apart because I literally just took one apart for the other for the other video I just did. And it took me, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes to put it back in. So let's see. We have, how many did I say? Four, one, two, three, four. The problem is they do theirs in weight. So it's hard to find the actual drills. I wish it would put them in order. It would make so much more sense. I mean... Okay, so we have white. We have two bags of the white. Okay, so that's number 141. Um, oh my goodness. Hard to see. The lighting in here, because of the way I'm doing it, isn't the greatest either. So it's hard for me to see. What color? We have. Looks like pink, two different pinks, and nor okay, there's an orange for sure, which is this one here. Which they use this color a lot. I have a whole bunch of this color. So if I ever run out, I'll be fine. This is number what's number left? 132, yeah. So that's that. I mean you you can see it. The the A B. Is that A B? Yeah. Is. You can see the AB in there. It's it's you can't see it too good for some reason in this one. I don't know why. Um, let's see. I don't want to waste your time here, but because I got to find the other ones. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and find them all. This is gonna take too long. All right, I found one of the fairy dust, which is this light green. Which they you can sort of see them, but they're not they're not my favorite. So this, how many fairy dust? Three. Okay, so we found one. I'm gonna pause it again, find the others, and then show them to you as I go. All right, I found another one. It's this one here. How, how we know? This is how we don't? Psh, stop it! You hear that? You hear that? He's just complaining. Yeah, he talks to me. <laughs> this is how he is. So we got this blue fairy dust. And the other one is all, I think, a pink or red. All right, I found the last fairy dust, which is this one here. Which is that really pretty, almost fuchsia pink, which is hard to see. Like, that glitter on there is very, very hard to see until you lay it down. You know, I know you can see a little bit, but it's not... It's not easy to see. The only one I've been able to really see it is on the green, I think, the most. And okay, and then we have two more ABs, which I'm just confused. 152, that's not it. I wish they were in order. If they were in order, it would be so much easier to find. All right, I found another one, and that's this one here. And I, now I'm just trying to keep it together because I don't want them to come apart. But that's like that pretty, um, very light peachy color. 
And I cannot find the other one. What color is that one? That one's 104. 124, it looks like a similar color. But I am having a heck of a time. I wish these things were in order. This is frustrating, honestly. This is frustrating. I don't understand what the reason is why they don't put these in order. I truly don't. If other companies can do it, you know, without the same resources, because Diamond Art Club has, they're a big company. They can figure this out and make it easy for somebody like me who's kind of advertising for them, because I'm not getting paid to do any of this. Is that one? What is that, 951? That's not it. I was reading that backwards. Okay, I don't know where that color is. And honestly, maybe it's actually missing. Um, 124. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I thought it was actually missing. Should have known. Because it's like only this little spattering of uh, drills. I mean, they are kind of stingy with their uh, AB drills. I don't know why, but they are. You know, and their special drills. I just did one for uh, Dream of Designs, and I don't know how, like 11 different ABs. Something, of course, two of two or three of them are almost the same color, but that's another story. Anyway, so let's shut that. Okay. So this is after now. I didn't want to take it apart, but I wound up having to take it apart. This is Whispers of the Spirit Woods, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it absolutely beautiful i am in love with this piece and i can't wait to do it don't mind my husband he's cracking himself up in the other room he's been dealing with a bad back for almost a month now and he's just trying to keep himself entertained you know but isn't this stunning i love this piece you guys love her so much all right you guys have a great day wherever you are take good care of yourselves blessings and thank you